Hello! This is Teacher Tare. Nagbabalik hindi upang magturo at magbulong sa inyo. So, ang lesson po natin Solving linear inequality in one variable involving absolute value. So, we have conjunction. It is a combination of inequalities that uses the word N. And it uses intersection symbol. Kung natatandaan nyo yung first quarter natin, itinuro ko yung set. So, kapag sinabing N, magkaka, mag, uh, yung magkakaparehas lang. Yung, yung similar lang nilang dalawa. Dalawang set. Okay? So, that is intersection. So, ang uh, symbol po niya is yung pa, parang pabaligtad na U for the solution. Okay. So, explain ko yan mamaya, isa-isa. And then, ito yung example for conjunction. Kung makikita nyo sa graph, sila yung magkasama. Nagtagpo sila dun sa gitna. So, yung similar yung kanilang set. So, si x minus, the absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 5. Then, x minus 3 is less than or equal to 5. So, ito na po yung naging sa group niya. So, negative 2 and then 8. Pero nagtagpo yung sets nila sa gitna. So, that is conjunction, intersection, or tinatawag na yun. Okay? Okay, another example for conjunction, o yung tinatawag na intersection. So, for example, isa-isay natin, x is greater than 96, meaning mas mataas sa 96 yung solution set. So, yung below, tinapat lang kay 96. Open siya kasi hindi na makasali kay 96. Makailangan is yung mataas kay 96. And then, yung sa baba naman, x is less than 99. So, mula kay 99 pa baba, ito naman ay pataas kasi greater than ito ay that. Or, pwede rin naman siyang ganito, marking as parenthesis, meaning that is open. So, mula dito, kung hindi, hindi below, itong parenthesis, then, then yung arrow, ganun din. And then, ganun din yung kanyang uh, kabila, which is open din, so parenthesis, that going to the left naman siya. Ngayon, ito naman yung pinagsama siya. X is pinagbaliktad siya. Itong greater than, magiging less than. Pero, actually, greater than siya, nakabaliktad lang. So, and then, ito yung less than. So, pag pinagsama mo siya, papunta doon, tsaka papunta dito, magtatagpo nga yung hindi sa gitna. So, pwedeng ganito, at pwede rin nakaparin. Meaning, itong nasa gitna, yung kung saan sila nagtagpo, yan yung solution set. So, since pareha sila, similar sila, that is intersection, or tinatawag na yung nagtagpo na magkasama sila sa isang lugar lang. And then, pwede siyang isulat ng ganito. So, isa-isa, ganyan. Tapos, N. Pwede rin siyang intersection, katulad dito. Yan. Pwede word na N. Tapos po, uh, itong symbol na to is infinity. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy. Okay? So, nakaparenthesis siya kasi open naman siya. Okay, that is conjunction. Yan yung sample, isang sample ng conjunction. May, kung may conjunction, meron din tinatawag na disjunction. It is a combination of inequalities that uses the word or. Kung kanina N, this is or. Kabalik na rin niya, it uses union o yung U. Na para siyang U for the solution set. Union means mag, mag, yung magkakasama yung kanilang mga solutions. Eh. Pero hindi sila magkakapareha. Okay? So, ibig sabihin magkaiba sila ng daan. So, that is this junk. Uh, <clears throat> pero magkakasama yung kanilang solutions. Eh. So, ito po yung example niya. Yan. So, kung open siya, ganito ang itura niya. May simple na yun nakaparentis. Yan. Infinity po ito. Tuloy-tuloy. Gusto rin dire-direto. Yan. Tapos po, dito ay nakaklose. Kaya ang symbol niya is ganito. Yung parang pa-square na bracket. Hindi siya parentis. Okay? 
another example yung ganito ang itsura. Ayan. So, x is less than 2. Ayan po. So, pwedeng parenthesis na papuntang kaliwa kasi less than. And then, ito, close siya. Dito open, ito close kasi equal. May equal siya. Meaning, kasama si 4. Dito, hindi kasama si 2. Dito, mas malit ng kay 2. Pero dito, may equal. Greater than or equal to 4. So, kasali si 4, papuntang kataas. So, that is greater than. So, kapag pinagsama natin sila sa isang graph, isang open, isang uh, close, so, pwede siyang parenthesis and then yung bracket na pa square. So, that, that is disjunction. Magkahiwalay yung ito. Hindi sila nagtagpo. So, magkaiba sila ng, magkaiba sila ng way. Hindi sila nasa isang lugar. Okay. So, pwede siyang isulat ng ganito yung may word na or. Or pwede rin siyang isulat ng may symbol na union. That is, meaning that is or. Or this junction. Okay? So, dito, parehas parenthesis kasi open siya. Pero this time, ay meron siyang nakabracket siya ng pastor. Square bracket. O. Oh. Yan. Yan tinatawag naman natin open interval. Okay? It does, it does not include with any points and is indicated with parenthesis. For example, 1 and 4 means x is greater than 1 and then x is less than 4. Po. So, kapag igagrap natin siya, naka-open. Gumamit siya ng less than, gumamit siya ng greater than. Open means bilog lang. Hindi kasali yung katapat ng bilog na yun. Okay? Next. Ito po yung another example for open. Ayan po. Ayan. Naka-open. Ibig sabihin, last yung dinamit ang may equal. May less than and greater than lang po yung dinamit. At, ang mga symbol niya is puro ganito. Naka-parent. Next po. Close interval. Yan po yung mayroong mga equal sign. Greater than or equal to and then less than or equal to. Matulad niya. Then yan ang itsura niya. So, Ito nga ang makikita niyo yung close interval. So, parehas siya na kaganito. So, parehas na makikita niyo. Pwede siyang isulat na ganito or pwede yung ganito. So, mas madali siyang tandaan kung siya. Naka-square bracket lang siya. And then, half open interval. Ito po yung mix. Isang open, isang uh, close. Ayan. So, para mas maliwanag, ito po siya. Half open interval. So, ito yung parehas nila. So, uh, ito, union. Pero, nasa magpapabi ng gilid na square bracket then ito nakaparehas. Okay? So, yan. Pero, pag pinagsama sila, ito doon kanina, naparehas sila naka-square bracket. And then, this one is greater than 4. So, half ang tawag po yan. Next. So, we have example. So, yun yung mga graph. So, Gagawin natin, uh, naituro ko naman last time yung algebraic method para ma-solve yung solution set. So, this time, magsasamahin natin siya. So, kaya't inuna ko yung graph so, uh, para malaman natin kung paano ito graph yung inequality. Okay, so for example, this one. So, katulad ng equality, parehas lang dito. Kaya lang dito, uh, hindi lang yung number, ang yung last number yung kanyang after ng symbol. Pati yung symbol dito. For example, ito, kung ito ay greater than, gagawin siya ngayon. At kung ito ay positive, gagawin in the reverse of. So, absolute value of x is x greater than 3 and then x is less than negative 3. So, ang solution set natin is 3 and negative 3 or negative 3 and 3. So, we will drop. So, open siya. Open. Okay, this is x greater than 3. Okay. Ito naman ay yung x negative. x less than negative 3. So, negative papunta siya doon. And then, uh, greater than papunta na dito. So, ang solution set, paano siya sinusulat is ganyan. Since magkahiwalay sila, that is 4. 4 union. So, infinite yung dito. Kaya, negative infinite. Yung infinite naman doon, positive. Kaya, positive infinite. Kasi 
since open siya, ay nakaparin. Okay, next po, number 2. So, kung greater than 2 and positive, magiging less than negative. Okay? So, uh, tulad ng ano, itatranspose natin. So, yung negative 1, magiging positive 1. That is x greater than 4. Then, other one is, yan. So, na negative 1, magiging positive 1. Then, x is less than negative 2. So, ang solution set natin is negative 2 and positive 4. Okay. So, x is, ito yung solution set natin. So, x is greater, less than negative 2. Tapos, x greater than 4. So, negative 2 kapunta doon. And then, greater than kapunta ka. Pareha silang open. So, pwede siyang isulat ng ganito. Since 4 yan, yun yun. So, negative uh, uh, infinity, tapos neg negative 2. And then, yun yun, 4, infinity. So, then, tuloy today siya. At then, parenthesis na ang uh, gagamitin kasi open siya. Okay, number 3. Solve absolute value of 2x negative 5. Less than or equal to 3. So, isi-simplify muna natin siya. So, ayan. So, gagamit tayo ng greater than ay less than or equal to 3. So, ita-transpose natin sa negative 5 sa kabila magiging positive 5. So, 3 plus 5 is 8 divided by 2. That will be x. Less than or equal to 4. Then, Kung ito ay less than or ne uh, equal to, ito ay magiging greater than or equal to. And then, kung positive to, ito ay magiging greater than Okay, so this with this time, ito transpose natin sa negative 5 into positive 5. Basta tumatawid siya ng symbol, nag-i-evolve. So, negative 2x and then negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. So, we divide natin by 2. x is greater than or equal to 1. 2 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 2. So, ito po ay i-divide and then i-divide. Okay, how do we graph? So, x is less than or equal to uh, 4. Less than or equal to 4. Okay? Yan. So, less than sa 4. So, ito sabi ko yung ito dito ako sa doon. Then, less than sa uh, greater than 1. So, nagtagpo sila sa gitna, that is intersection. Nagtagpo sila sa gitna. So, since pareha silang close, kaya nakag pwede siyang isulat ng ganito or pwedeng ganito. Iwalay. Next po, number 4. So, pag na ganito ka, ka, ka complicated, I-simplify muna natin siya na maging uh, simple na lang siya. Ayan. So, yung negative 7 naging positive 7. That will be negative. Uh, positive 21. So, tatagalin natin yung 3 doon. I-divide natin. So, ito ay mawawala na. So, 2x uh, greater than or equal to 7. So, uh, lalagyan natin yan ng bar dito. Naka-absolute value. Pero, aalisin mo yan. Magiging then, ano na lang siya. Wala, ganito na lang. So, ito na yung pinaka gagamitin natin. So, 2x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 7. Then, yung negative 5 magiging positive 5. So, 2x, 7 plus 5, that is 12. Divided by 2, that is x. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, yung isa naman, since positive 7 yung greater than or equal to positive 7. Okay? So, yung isa naman ay less than or equal to negative 7. So, yung positive, yung negative 5 magiging positive 5. 2x negative 7 plus 5, that is negative 2. So, ito ay divide. Magiging x na lang yan. And then, divide yung negative 2 and 2. That will be negative 1. Okay? So, paano natin siya i-graph? So, ito siya. X is greater than, less than to negative 1. So, papunta doon. And then, X is greater than positive 1. 
So, ibig sabihin, that is or. Yun yun. So, ganyan lang ko dito. Para sa mga video. Okay. So, exercise. So, i-grab natin siya. Papunta doon. Sila yung isa, negative 2, papunta doon. So, nag-tag po sila sa gitna. So, that is intersection. Kaya yung symbol sa dyan. Next. So, less than negative 2, and then greater than 4. So, that is union. So, half intervals na kasi isang close at isang open. So, thank you and God bless. See you again next time. See you again in my next video. Hope na natutunan, nakatutunan, nakatutunan, nakatulong ako at may natutunan ninyo. So, God bless you all and stay safe. Bye!